targeting our AT-80. When you hear that sound play on the battlefield, you know that Darth Vader has entered the battle. Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates and a video that I know a lot of you have been waiting to see for a long time. Darth Vader in action. This is all beta gameplay recorded at the EA event back in September, meaning that this is what you will be able to play as when the beta hits in a few days from now. So Darth Vader, is he as menacing and scary as he's supposed to be? Hell yes. Whenever I see him on the battlefield I just run straight in the other direction but if you're unlucky and catch him indoors, you're pretty much screwed. When playing as Vader, you have the standard lightsaber slash with the left click on the mouse, and to reflect project lights, simply hold down the right mouse button. The same thing as with Luke. The big difference is the other special abilities that Darth Vader has, which makes him a lot slower and less agile than Luke, yet even more powerful at close range. The first ability that Darth Vader has is the Force Choke. And this ability actually has a surprisingly long range, a lot longer than in the old Battlefront games, and for me this ability is just perfectly designed as it truly gives you the feeling of power when using it. This ability automatically kills the player if you manage to get a hold of them. As you can see right here I get my force choke in, and when that happens the player is already guaranteed dead, but I'm free to use my other abilities to hurt him a bit extra if I want to. Force choke also works great on people trying to escape with jetpacks and such, as you can see right here. The second ability is the same as Luke's, a heavy attack that includes a pretty big swipe to take out multiple enemies at once at a shorter range. I personally didn't feel like it was too different compared to the normal slash, but I think it's worth using if you have enemies spread out around you. Lastly we have the saber throw, a quite impressive throw to say the least, because Vader can actually reach pretty far with this throw. This is also the biggest difference between how Luke and Vader plays out. Luke has his force rush that makes it a lot easier to get to the enemies, whereas Vader has to rely on reaching enemies far away with his lightsaber throw instead, which can be a bit tricky to aim at first. Because of this reason I had some issues actually getting some good Vader gameplay where I actually killed some people, so I just want to give a quick shout out to Dual D Gaming and Game Riot for letting me use some of their Vader footage in this video. You can find our channels in the description below. Overall playing as Darth Vader is everything I hoped for, his force choke is just amazing and when you get up close he can slaughter rebels with ease, which makes it really interesting to see how he might play out on smaller maps with more indoor combat. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the Vader footage without my commentary and with the full sound. Enjoy! The rebels have activated the uplink station, we must shut it down. You are nothing against the power of the force. There is no defense against the dark side. Struggling is useless. We've now reached the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you're now excited to play some Battlefront beta with me. I have two more videos up on the channel right now, one with drop zone footage and one with Luke footage. So make sure to check those out if you haven't already and stay tuned for a lot more videos the coming days. I'll see you guys soon again and as always, may the force be with you.